All right. Honestly, I don't even care if this video gets banned off of YouTube. I'm just going to say it. Holy fucking god damn shit, motherfuckers. Here we are. The moment we've all been waiting for. What this entire playthrough has been leading up to. One final battle against the champion of the Hoenn region. Oh man, I'm uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm nervous. I am very nervous. I I mean my Pokemon are under leveled. Um, I've been pretty lucky so far. I've been doing all right so far. I've actually been doing a lot better than I expected so far. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that that luck continues as we head into the final battle of Pokemon Sapphire, folks. Whew. Yeah, YouTube just better go ahead and ban this video right now because I can guarantee you there's probably going to be a lot of fucking swear words during this battle. <laughs> I just have a hunch, but who knows? Maybe it'll go really smoothly. Maybe it will. I am hoping so. But either way, honestly, I may just leave Kyogre out there and let Kyogre do his thing. <laughs> honestly, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how everything plays out. But uh, here we fucking go, folks. Let's do it. Oh boy. Oh my god, he's got six Pokemon. <laughs> oh, a Skarmory. Alright, I actually was not expecting that. And it's level 57, so that's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I may just be tempted to leave Kyogre out here at this point. Let Kyogre do Kyogre's thing, you know. Oh, see, now that, that's, that's just horse shit, man. Probably gonna have to end up dropping off. I could probably end up using that full restore, actually. But come on, dude, really? That is a bitch fucking strategy to start off with. Very disrespectful way of fighting, especially coming from a fucking champion. I'm surprised my surf did that much. I'm impressed. Maybe I'll just do that again. Honestly. Like, fuck it. Worked so well the first time. You know what they say? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, I actually should have used a Lepa Berry to restore Kyogre's fucking uh, thunder. Should have thought of that. <laughs> Whoops! I guess I'm an idiot. Then again, y'all should have known that by now. Agron. Probably has a ground type move, so I don't want to send out Blaziken, so nope! Just hang in there a little longer, Kyogre. I may have to sacrifice one of my other Pokemon to revive you at some point. Luckily, I got a max revive that I can use, though. Might as well use up all my best shit. Not gonna need it after this battle, anyway. One hit kill! Plus Kyogre has that C incense that boosts water type moves. Because apparently Kyogre just wasn't strong enough before. And Kyogre learned rest. Fantastic. Is that thing part grass rock? In that case... Maybe we will send in Blaziken. Because I could have sworn that frickin' uh, Cradley is a rock grass. I could be totally off base. I just really hope it doesn't have any ground type moves, otherwise, I might actually be fucked. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Only one way to find out! Ooh, it apparently has a really kick-ass defensive stat, though, so that might be a problem. 
Oh boy. You know, Steven is a lot more toxic than I was expecting him to be. Alright, well I gotta hope that this kills here, otherwise I might be in some deep shit. Oh, it's not gonna kill, is it? Oh no, it does, okay. I was gonna say, for a second there, I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, so Blaziken pulls through there, albeit a little bit rough, but... It's a steel psychic. You know what? Yeah. Fuck it. Hopefully Kyogre t can tank one hit and poison. Then I'll drop a full restore. <whistles> Holy shit balls. Things level 58. Well, fuck me sideways. Let's see how much this does. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh, wow, fuck me. Alright, that might be a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. Alright, uh, who's going to be my sacrificial lamb? You know what? Actually, my Diana might be a good sacrificial lamb. Sorry, my Diana, I'm going to sacrifice you. Oh, that's some horse shit. Oh, pfft. Speaking of horse shit. Oh, crap, that is not what I meant to do. Son of a bitch, that is exactly not what I meant to do. Ha, whoops. I accidentally pressed the wrong button input. Motherfucker. I just wasted that opportunity. If I was gonna do an attack, I should have done crunch. It would have at least been regularly effective. Although, I mean, I guess, actually, Rock Smash was regularly effective. It just sucks. Where is my... There it is. I don't want to have to waste multiple turns healing him, so fuck it. Well, if that don't kill me in one hit, I'd be shocked. Huh. Well, consider me mildly shocked. Yeah, exactly what I expected. My Diana actually did survive one turn longer than I expected. Hey, hey, bitch face, remember me? I think the only way Metagross is killing me in one hit is with that fucking hyper beam bullshit. No, don't know if this will work. Yeah, okay, it was enough to kill him. Alright, cool. It may have been his strongest. Oh, pff, fuck no, we're not switching. Against a clay doll? Pff. Kyogre's like, bitch, please, I got this. Super effective. Get killed, motherfucker. Hell yes. Is it bug steel? Yeah. Let's, uh... Oh, shit. I forgot Blaziken's poisoned and... Low, low on health. Fuck. Whatever. We'll give Blaziken a shot anyway. I highly doubt Blaziken will come out on top here, but what the hell. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that thing is steel bug type, if I'm remembering. So if I can manage to get a hit off... Oh, wait. Duh, it's raining. It's gonna lower the... It's gonna lower my... God damn it. Why do I keep making that mistake with fucking Kyogre? And Blaziken. They do not make a good team. <sighs> Fuck. It's raining. It's going to lower the fucking fire-type moves power. 
fucking stupid. Fucking stupid, stupid multi-step. Wow! Huh! Well, I sure as shit was not expecting that. Alright. Well, I'm fucked. So that's, that's always nice. Oh, I am faster. And wow. Blaze again. You had one opportunity and you fucked it up. That thing knows water pulse? Huh. That's surprising. Um Yeah, let's just end it. Like I said, so be it. If I have to use Kyogre to fucking just annihilate everybody, so fucking be it. Oh, it's actually super effective. Maybe it isn't part uh steel type. Maybe it's like a rocks something. Has to be part rock type then. Huh. Guess I was wrong on that account. It worked out better than I expected. I should have just left Kyogre in there. Could have saved myself a few minutes. Like I said, I am not above this strategy of using my legendary Pokemon to just completely annihilate everybody. I do not care. Is it a somewhat dishonorable strategy? Maybe. Do I give a shit? <laughs> Fuck no. I will win by any fucking means necessary. And we did it, folks. We completed our journey. We did what we set out to do. We defeated the champion. Yes, and it was pretty much all thanks to Kyogre, let's be honest. If it hadn't been for Kyogre, I'd have been fucked up the ass. <laughs> Straight up. So thank you, Kyogre. In case anyone was curious, that's why I always catch the main legendary of the game. Very helpful in uh, Elite Four and Champion battles, for sure. I mean, fuck, why wouldn't you use the strongest Pokemon that you could get your hands on, am I right? You're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that the fucking truth. Ho <laughs> roasted Zug on that shit, Brendan, my so-called rival. Yeah. <laughs> Suck on that shit. Oh wow. Must be a shiny floor. You can see my reflection. And his, of course. Hell yeah! Shout out to all my awesome Pokemon! Kyogre, of course! Cast Form! Lunatone! 
Mighty Anna, Blaziken, my starter, and of course, Swello. Fucking team of badass motherfuckers right there. Hell yes. And it only took me 45 hours and 25 minutes. <laughs> Man, I gotta say, this has been truly an absolute pleasure to do for you guys. Um, this was a really special playthrough for me. Um, Pokemon Sapphire, hands down, is one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. And uh, just a very special game to me personally. Um, I kind of talked about that when I started this playthrough, but one of the, um, you know, I've uh, had a lot of battles with um, depression and stuff throughout the years, but every time I put in a Pokemon game, it just never ceases to make me feel better. And uh, some there were some times in my life when I had no reason to get out of bed in the morning. It felt like there was no reason to keep going. And stupid as it may fucking sound, this was the kind of shit that kept me going. This was what kept me going. I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to put in that Pokemon game. I'm going to get to the next gym, beat the next gym leader, and... That's what kept me going. And I've always been grateful to the Pokemon series for helping me find purpose. And helping me find some solace in a sometimes incredibly fucked up world. And um, I remember back when I did my very first playthrough of this game, it was at one of the happiest points in my life, which unfortunately shortly after turned into a long downward spiral of just a bunch of bullshit that really made life suck for a while, but I always had these games, these Pokemon games that I've loved so much to get me through the hard times, and again, it may sound silly or stupid to some people, and I don't care, but I've always loved these games, always will love these games. They mean a lot to me, and... Um, I just, I always love doing playthroughs of these games for you guys. It's its always just an absolute fucking blast to put these together for you guys. I know you guys could tell probably during this playthrough that I've been a lot more lively and stuff. I don't know why. It's just for whatever reason, I always just click with these games. And yeah, these games certainly have their fair share of uh, frustrating parts, but uh, it's always, always an absolute pleasure to play Pokemon games on this channel for you guys. And I hope I have... The opportunity to play many more Pokemon games in the future as well. So again, thank you so, so much to all the people who made this game. It was absolutely incredible. And I loved doing this playthrough for you guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Alright. Well, either way, folks, you guys will have to see which playthrough project I decide to start next. It uh, It's going to be interesting, I think. Um... Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be something. It's going to be interesting, and I have a feeling that game is going to be incredibly fucking frustrating, but hey, it's all in good fun. That's what we're here to do on this channel. It's all about fun and games, man. Take a break from all the real-world bullshit. Tune out all the noise. Tune out all the bullshit. Fuck it. Just sit here, play some video games, make some videos for you guys, and have some fucking fun, for sure. This right here, sitting here in this studio playing these games... That's what it's all a fucking about, man. Again, fuck all the noise on social media. Fuck all the bullshit. Fuck it. We're just gonna sit here and have ourselves a good old fucking time, and anyone who doesn't like that can eat fucking ass. Because fuck them. Simple as that. But either way, again, thank you so much to all the people who made this game. It's, it's an absolute masterpiece of a game. Cannot say enough good things about this game. Easily one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time, and... I'm really glad that because of this system, the Hyperkin Retron 5, I am so glad that I was able to do a playthrough of this game for you guys because I never thought that I'd ever get the chance to do a proper playthrough of this game for you guys. And uh, Again, it's a game that's very special to me. This playthrough has been very special to me. 
And um, again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really does mean a lot, for sure. All right. Well, folks, as the screen clearly says, it is the end, unfortunately. All right. Well, either way, folks, as always, stay cool and rock on. This is Multistep signing off.